Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, November 12th, and today is a super exciting day because guess what guys? We are decorating for Christmas! I'm so excited, Cooper is excited too, but we're putting up the tree, putting up the Christmas decorations, and I am pumped! So I know some of you are thinking, it is too early for Christmas, but y'all, 2020 has been a year. So a little extra holiday joy for a little longer, not gonna do any harm. So I'm very excited. The first thing on the agenda today is Cody and I are going to head to the grocery store and load up on some healthy foods. We have been on the go for the past two and a half weeks or so and have not eaten the very best. So it is time for us to stock our fridge full of healthy things and get back to eating well. So I am going to bring y'all along with me because it is the most exciting day, Christmas decorating day. Bo was laying on the couch, but he just got up and decided that the glass coffee table was a much better option for laying on. <laughs> Little Bobo, that can't be comfortable. We're heading into Academy first this morning. We need to go grab a couple of things. Well, Academy was playing copywritten music, so I didn't want to get in trouble by YouTube. So I figured I would show you what we got since we're back in the car. We needed a grill brush and some grill cleaning stuff to give our pellet grill a deep clean. And Academy has some good options. So we got a grill brush and then we got the Citrus Safe Complete Grill Care Kit. Hopefully it'll help us get all the stuck on gunk off of the grill. And then lastly, my most favorite impulse purchase of all, tis the seasoning and it's Santa grilling. Oh my golly, this is the best shirt ever. I'm so excited. And now it is time to go get our grocery shopping done here at Kroger. We're home from the grocery store and I thought I would do a little haul because we got quite a bit of stuff, but it was relatively inexpensive because we didn't get much meat because I have a lot of frozen meat, but we got all kinds of goodies. So let me show you what we got. I planned out all my meals for the week, made a grocery list and then went and picked it up. We got some baked potatoes because Cody wants some twice baked potatoes on the smoker baby spinach, onions, and some bell peppers because I have an exciting recipe I'm gonna try later this week. Carb counter tortillas. I got some thin sliced Dave's Killer Bread because I like to make avocado toast sometimes with that. Some eggs. Cody picked out these egg bites to try for a quick breakfast before we go fishing in the mornings. I got some banana pepper rings. These sandwich slims are for Cody and I. We got a bunch of the Carb Master yogurt. This is the best stuff that Kroger sells. It's the only reason why I went to Kroger today instead of HEB is because I wanted to pick up some of these yogurts. But there's only five grams of carbs in it. I got some cilantro lime rice. More breakfast things to try for before fishing. These loaded sausage bites, it just sounded interesting. So I picked them up. Bacon bits. Since we finally got a freezer, I can actually buy some things to put in the freezer because we just haven't had space in months. I got some of these frozen broccoli and cheese packs as just a quick veggie to heat up for dinner if I ever need it. These turkey crumbles were on sale so I got them so I can make some breakfast with them like omelets or egg scrambles or whatever. We picked up some drinks, some of these sparkling ice drinks and a couple of the diet snapples, just so we could have something other than water every once in a while. Sweet Italian sausages, ground beef, a triple berry blend so I can make some smoothies, avocados, shredded lettuce, and some chicken breasts that I'm gonna grill and just have some meal prepped grilled chicken for whenever I wanna make wraps or a sandwich or something along those lines. We have a whole chicken. Cody and I are gonna try a spatchcock chicken where you cut out the backbone and throw it on our pellet grill. Cream cheese, a big old block of sharp cheddar cheese, heavy whipping cream, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, some ham, 
And of course, I had to get a Christmas candle to burn while we do Christmas decorating today. So with that, I think that is everything. And now the fun part is putting all of this away. Let's do it. Cooper. Why are you stealing grocery bags? Why are you stealing the grocery bags? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, hmm? yeah. <laughs> Give this to me. Give it to me. Dog. He stole this and he's so proud of stealing it. Give me that ball. Give me that bag. Give me that bag. Cooper. Hear me out. You can't eat this. You really can't. No, no. Hey there, Moo Moos. How's it going? Look at everyone. Y'all having a good day? Look at the little baby right here. Oh, I love it so much. Hey, little dude. You're so cute. This is my favorite thing ever, is to come out here and have all the Moo Moos out here. Got the errands out of the way, and now it is time for the fun part of the day. We're going to caffeinate, and it's time to pull out all of the Christmas decorations, and we are going to start putting all of our decorations up. So I'm just making myself an iced coffee. I brewed the coffee this morning, so it's cooled off. And of course, we're being festive and going to use some of this Christmas cookie flavoring to flavor my coffee. Ooh, that was probably too much that came out faster than I wanted to. Ah, it's Christmas decorating time. I am out here sipping on my iced coffee. Trying to figure out how we are going to get into the attic right here because I have my elliptical currently under the attic and this elliptical is so darn heavy and um, we have three grills right here also in the way. So we're about to have to do some major moving around to get up into the attic so we can get down our Christmas tree, our ornaments, my decorations I have from last year. So I'm out here scoping it out drinking my caffeine because I'm gonna need it for this mess. But, see here's the attic, right there. We gotta get in there. But I think I'm gonna make myself lunch before we hop into this because this is gonna be a project. So, I'm so excited though. Let's go eat lunch and then it is game on, game on. Today we're doing what is called I am being lazy because I am Super determined to put up my Christmas decorations, so I am making my little low-carb pizzas that I love. I am using two of these La Banderita carb counter tortillas. I have them just laid out on a cookie sheet. I'm going to do a little spoonful of pizza sauce, some mozzarella, and some pepperoni slices. And then we'll pop it in the oven until it's melted, and lunch will be served. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, pizza sauce is no good, so that's going to the trash, and hopefully I have more red sauce somewhere. Well, I found this in our refrigerator. It's like a red pasta sauce, but I think it's close enough to pizza sauce. It's just gonna have to work today. So just going to do a little spoonful on my tortillas. A little sprinkling of some mozzarella cheese. And of course, you gotta throw a couple pepperonis on top as well. Last up, I have this pizza seasoning and I am just going to sprinkle that over the top, just a little bit for a little extra flavor. And there we go, y'all. Our pizzas are ready to go in the oven. I heated it up to 350 and I'm just gonna leave it in there until everything is melted and the tortillas are toasty. Oh. oh no! Oh 
no. That was almost bad. there we have it this is my first meal of the day I have one and a half of those tortilla pizzas I gave the other half to Cody but y'all I'm so excited this looks so good time to dig in cheers y'all mmm so good Cody now wants me to make him some more tortilla pizzas because they're so good mm -mm. delicious the mailman just came by and he delivered a package and somehow, I think Cooper knows what it is. They got their November Bark Box in today. <laughs> this is Cooper's favorite thing in the entire world because that means multiple new toys and treats and all kinds of fun things. Simmer down, simmer down. mashed potatoes we got a couple of different things of treats in here oh they are going to love this even you're crying you excited about bark box bobo here cooper oh no here bo here bo you will like this one this one's a good one for you to so there you go now we got two happy boys with their new toys on the coffee table, I laid out a bunch of our Christmas decorations just so I can kind of get an idea of what I have. I bought a couple of things over the past few days. So I have it all laid out and ready to decorate. I also have a bunch of ornaments in this box that I haven't pulled out yet. And our Christmas tree is laying over here in the hallway. So it's a little bit of a disaster in here right now, but... We are going to get started, y'all. And look at this little cow I bought. Is he not so cute? He's got a wreath around his neck. Oh my golly, I'm so excited. Cooper's excited too. This is the area where I envision all of our Christmas stuff, like our Christmas tree. I want it in that corner back there. So to make that happen, we've got to do a little bit of furniture rearranging. We are going to move the end table, the couch over a little bit, and move that lamp out of the way. So we're going to move that and then it'll be Christmas tree time. The hardest part about having a fake Christmas tree is fluffing it up. Takes a little while, but the end result for like, a, I think I paid like 150 bucks for this little tree last year. I think it looks pretty good once you fill it in with ornaments. I love it. Little Bo is over here quietly judging our work, enjoying the new pillows and blanket that I put on the couch. And up next, we have all of our ornaments out and we are going to decorate the tree. We just have like an assortment of ornaments that we bought last year, some that we bought on sale. They're all in here. So we are just gonna have at it, go to town decorating. We are putting some of these scent sickles in the tree. They're basically just like scented little things. They look like this. And they smell like an actual Christmas tree. So it kind of makes you feel like you have a real Christmas tree in the house. Now that the Christmas tree is done, we are moving on to the mantle behind me. We're gonna go from like country western decor to Christmas. Let's do it. Well, we are 
are just about done decorating and my heart is happy. There's still a couple of things I want to do. Look at my little Christmas cow on the wall. But I want something for this end table and this end table, or this coffee table, I mean. But I don't know what I want. The tree looks beautiful. Makes my heart happy. It looks so good, my little Christmas corner. I just need a couple more little touches over here and it'll be perfect. And here is the completed mantle. So these lights went out the other day, which is why it's so dark, I need to replace them. But y'all, it's so cute. I'm still having trouble trying to figure out what to do about this sign, if I need to go get something else. But it's so cute. It's the most wonderful time of the year, except the garland blocks year. So I'm wondering if I need to go get like a different painting or what is this called? Just like a picture to go there. Let me know your thoughts. Some of y'all are way better with decorating than I am because I am not. I put these little Christmas trees on the end to give it a little height. We got my stockings and dog stockings. And it was a really fun time, wasn't it, Cooper? Wasn't it, Cody? He's ready to watch Hallmark movies now. That's next. Hallmark Christmas movies are favorite. Woo! Yeah. Hi, Coop. Yay. <laughs> So Yay! now we're fully in the Christmas spirit Yay! to watch our Hallmark movies. But were you excited too? Hey! Oh yes, mm -hmm. just make a room for my spot. <laughs> well y'all, it is the next day now and of course I had to sit in front of my beautiful Christmas tree. But last night after we decorated, we laid down on the couch, watched Hallmark movies, and then we both just passed out. So I didn't really have anything else to record. But y'all, my heart is so happy having my Christmas decorations up. It's just, it just makes me happy. And you know what? I love it. I can't wait to look at my Christmas tree for like the next two months. But that is all I have for you in today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I'll see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mwah!